the bottom to the top Don't get it, From the east to the west, the north to the south And the But to work it up because I own the tribes of the crowd Nobody left behind, everybody rectified I'm a sightseeing, but for eating I'm a sightseeing, but for eating Hello, hi, my name is Angela Ketepile Mokwala. This is my YouTube channel and you are welcome. If you are a new subscriber or you just tuned into my videos, hello Motowami, what it do, what's popping, what is totalizing? Welcome to my little world of vibes. <laughs> welcome to my little world of vibes, hypes, hypes and vibes all the way, baby. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi Motowaka, how are you? Did you miss me? I missed you. So, um, I'm gonna call this, I don't know if I should make a playlist. I think I should make a playlist and call it Bible Stories and Makeup. So, let's get into it. I have my Bible with me because I want to be confirming what I was actually doing. Okay? The Bible story for today, or the first Bible story of this um, playlist segment, whatever. It's going to be Adam and Eve. I'm not a makeup artist, so uh, what uh, what I'm doing is what I learned from the two makeup artists or makeup um, lovers that did my makeup. Okay, so let's just start our story from when God was like. Let us create man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish in the sea and over the fowl of the air and the cattle and all over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. Both male and female. He created them, I get. I bet. So now we're gonna hit summarization or paraphrasing. Okay, so um God created Adam, right? He created man. Let me not say Adam. He created man. He created man. Let's start it from Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. It says, And the Lord formed, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became living soul. Right? That's how God created man, literally from dust, breathed to his breathed life the breath of life into their nostrils and then boom human being kanjalon j so god creates um a man and he calls him adam right calls him adam and then he gives him like dominion over the earth and tells him yo adam my child here's the deal you're gonna name all the animals on earth Right? All these animals that I've created, I'm giving you the dominion to name each and every one of them. And that's exactly what Adam does. He names the 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 what he names the animals. Yes, he names all the animals, yada yada yada, gives them their names, woody hyena, woody baboon, and all the likes I get. And God Abale Bahapari Abraham Kataman Abraham. Adam is lonely. Like he's a little lonely. He needs somebody. So what does God do? He puts uh what you call him? He puts Abra Adam. Sorry guys, I've been reading about Abraham. But he puts Adam into a deep sleep. And then from Adam he takes like his rib. I get takes his rib and creates another human being. Another person. And then um Adam Seeing this other person who looks different from him, longer. I'm assuming it's longer. She had like this person has longer hair, yada yada yada, all of that. And Adam is like, "Ooh, you shall be the bone." I think I'm gonna read it. So Adam is like, "This is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She will be called a woman because she was taken out of a man." Remember, Adam had the dominion or the power to name everything. I guess not power. He was given a he was given the power to name everything. So ooh Adam, yeah, he calls uh this new creature human being woman. And then he goes, therefore shall a man leave his father's his father and his mother. A man shall leave his mother and his father. Okay, 
Let me add the money here. A man shall leave his mother and his father and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked and they were unashamed. And then Hansa Batwelete Hella chilling. So God had given the command they can eat any from any tree in the garden. X and then there are two trees in the center of the garden. The tree of knowledge of good and bad and then the other tree is the tree of life and they were not allowed to partake from the tree of knowledge of good and evil i get and this adam knew and this adam told his wife <laughs> hey, his wife wife rana lina at this point okay like she she hasn't been given a name she's just woman she's just wife so um the serpent at that one who is Pencil. So Pencil talks to Eve. Are, I want to get his words exactly as they are from the Bible. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Has God said you shall not eat of every tree in the garden? Like didn't God say you can eat any tree? And woman is like, well, we can eat any tree in the garden. Except for the tree of knowledge of good and bad. Else we die. Like if we eat from this fruit, from this tree, and the serpent is like, uh, no. And he, I bet he was like, uh, yes. He's like, uh, no. Uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, hey, that's the conversation between Eve and um, the, the serpent. <laughs> I want to have this color, ja. This, 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 this woman. This, 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 this tree. The fruits of this tree. Eh, how to risk it, ja? Yeah, and then the serpent goes, yeah, say. Let me tell you something. See, God doesn't want you to eat from this tree because you're going to be as powerful as He is, and He don't want you getting as powerful as He is, girl. So I, bet I urge you to eat the from the. I urge you to eat from the. Tree. Let me complete my eyebrows and come back, okay? Okay, so I come back. So we're talking about how um <clears throat> the serpent is like, yeah, you should totally eat this. Uh, you should totally eat this uh uh, uh item. This the, 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 the fruits from this. I know I'm supposed to go from inwards going out. I don't know what it's gonna come from there. No. So um Eva by Tararaki, okay, you know what? Let me take one bite. Like one bite won't hurt me, you know. Like let me just take one bite. What is this? What what's 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 the hype about this um this fruit? Like come on. Like what did I call? Why is the serpent out here? I don't know how to do this um this fruit. You know, so that's exactly what Eve does. She tastes. I get. It. I taste double chocolate. Man, 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 man. This fruit tastes good. This is bussin. And she calls her hubby wubby. Baby. Hmm. Zawuj. Hey, let's have it. I'm sorry, Ben. Hey, love you, man. Hmm. And say her own nella. Uh, the forbidden fruit. Hey, you want another forbidden fruit? Come on, I. Oscar, the serpent, Gary. What I'm trying to understand. Oh my God, that is so late. Don't worry, I'll fix it. God, I'm imagining the conversation right now. Eve is like, the serpent uh, said we can eat. Mudima Khabatarna is powerful as he is. So, nothing will happen. We won't die. I didn't die and I tasted. Come on, bae. Eat. Jaya mutwak. Skai tola monati. And then Adam is like, hish. Eh, one eh. Let me just take one bite. I get. Lena about to put her one bite. So now to put her one bite. Eh? What happens? Adam and Eve realize, Hore, they are naked and they run around. You know? I'm naked. Oh my God. I can't swallow. I can't swallow. What in the name of God? O M to the double G. What the heavens? Hala swallow. Yo, 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 yo. And they had. This is so bad. What am I even doing? And they hide Modi right? Adam and Eve 
hide mujukhe. They think it's a better idea to hide masokhe. Right? And that's what they do. They hide, they hide masokhe. Now, hiding masokhe makabon, God comes out. He's calling on to Adam. Adam! Adam! How do you know you're naked? And <laughs> Okay, you guys, I want you to understand why I'm laughing. This is like my favorite part of the story for some reason. Adam, we be I can't I'm naked. How do you know that you're naked? Uh, so God, the wife that you gave me, not the wife that I asked you to give me, the wife that you decided to give me, Nike Tobalete, the wife that you made. Because guys, this is what Adam is saying. Ne? Let me read it out for you. Adam is like, um, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. God, he's not saying, um, he's not saying my wife gave me the, the 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 fruit from the the tree that she said we shouldn't eat from and kejele and now we noticed for a harass and with that being said we're hiding because we disobeyed you you know instead he blames god he's like hey where now we deem where now the wife that you gave me i never asked you for a wife i never asked you for a wife and mind you when you read chapter one and chapter two God never said it's not good. The only time he said it's not good is when he saw what Adam and Eka Rojwa Kibudu. That's when he said it's not good for men to be alone. And he made home one. He was doing it for the good of Adam. Mar Adam wana ha 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 God. 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 Ooh, that's not what that was there. He's like, God, that's the woman that you gave me, not the woman that I asked you to give me. So, Adam. I mean, so after Adam says that for uh, God, not the wife that you gave, the wife that you gave me, the woman that you gave me, the woman that you decided how to Nike Toba let the hella weep on a hella oh what's aya kopolaga what's a one of my ribs hella would a whole other human being. Guess I hope I'm with him. And no, can I long for the forbidden food? And God asked the woman, ah, ma, wait a second. Uh, God, the, the the snake that you that you created, not the one that I created, the one that you created. You see how they are literally diverting the blame to God. Do you see? Do you see? And then uh, the Lord said unto the serpent, Thou has done this. Thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast in the field. Upon thy belly thou shalt go, and dust shall thou eat all the days of your life. And he says unto us. Not us, unto, unto the woman. It's unto the woman. I will the greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And then, um, da, 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 he tells what Adam for the, uh, he shall till the ground and all of that. And then uh, Adam calls his wife Eve she was the mother of all living that's when eve got her name hala hala in Ziluman. not the best look you've ever seen on youtube but who, who, who descended so as i was saying so god tells adam eve we're going to tell the dawn that all of that all of that all of that all of that right so serpent slash snake god is so good that instead of chasing Adam and Eve, Bansa Hala Jalo, Basanang Basana, he came up with, he decided to dress them. So he took like skin. It says here, uh, unto Adam and Eve, the Lord God made, made coats of skin and clothed them. So even though they disobeyed God, right? Even though they disobeyed God. I'm trying to use like I cannot use purple lipstick to make this, so I'm trying to do like purple line, line my lips on the outer, try blend and then do lipstick, cutting lip gloss and see how it turns out. So, uh, what's his name? Adam. Adam. Yes, Adam and Eve. They got clothed by the Lord, 
even though bamu bamu trockets a boat or more a meter like though they itemized though they um disobeyed him he still closed them you know he made some coats of skin about this before but an amula had seen and start working what is the lesson here the lesson here guys um god is ever faithful yeah like he's loving so even though adam and eve disobeyed him so close what does that say to you that shows you hurry god will always love us he loves us actually not always i dig it god will always love us yeah he will never leave no forsake us even uh though adam um disobeyed him and not only disobeyed him didn't they didn't even have the the what the pussy worry have i i don't know this is just me i feel like i don't see anything about them apologizing to god but clearly they regretted their decision of not listening or obeying god and what did god do god clothed them and they went into the world and they tilled the ground and you know in the later chapters they have kids but yes that's the what am i saying so that's the bible story for today adam and eve the story of adam and eve how they ate the food what happened and what the lord did god still clothed them god still blessed them abandoned like it continued to read the book of uh, uh uh genesis god blessed them and he blessed them abandoned okay bear that in mind bear that in mind sometimes we go through stuff mobile too long right and you can literally feel oh, this is literally the lord reprimanding me this is the lord kalimeli me and you focus more on the lord kalimeli you you forget that he's going to bless you or he has already blessed you we forget that so can we not do that to ourselves yeah can we like just learn for the future king and our parents and our parents continue to buy us clothes and allow us to live in their houses and all the sorts even god he will reprimand you he will call you and he will still bless you because he's your father okay okay this is how i look did you enjoy today's bible story so i'm going to be telling the bible stories in that order which means the next story is most probably going to be about abel and cain or i'll just talk about seth or i'll just jump hell like i got noah i'll see i will see i will see but yes i really hope that you enjoyed today's video so, um yeah that's the video for today don't forget to like share comment subscribe and um invite more people to come watch my videos and if they like them they can subscribe with that being said bye so thank you so much for watching i love you and i'll see you when you see me on your screen baby Bye-bye!